I've already shuffled and I also pulled two oracle cards for your recent past. The other two cards to the very far left side of the screen. Then I'll go through the present, how your person is seeing you, how you see them, and why it's all happening. So, Gemini, in the recent past, we have release your ex. The time has come to clear your energy. And release your ex is paired with invoke. And on the flip side of this card, it says, ask for a blessing. There is an endless supply of divine support awaiting for your request. So, I'm picking up for... Some of you Geminis in the recent past, you had a hard time releasing somebody. Their energy just clung, it just clung, it cling. <laughs> Is it clung or it, it just stuck to you like glue? You couldn't let it go. And uh, you knew it was time to let this person go or to release their energy. But you just couldn't do it. It was like they, it was like you had a monkey on your back. But it was time. The time is it had it had come in the recent past that you needed to let it go. You needed to clear that energy and release this person. So that was probably a struggle for for a lot of you Gemini's in the recent past. Now with the invoke, it's it's saying that you should have probably took to prayer and ask for a blessing maybe to send you someone that is um, better for you and ask for help with releasing this this energy from you because it seems like it was probably really difficult by looking at the face by looking at this lady's face I don't know if you can see it but she looks like she's in a struggle trying to release her ex so, divine support was waiting for your request. They were just, divine support was waiting for you to ask. And there's an endless supply of support. But you needed to ask for it. Go to the higher power. And say, look, I need help getting this monkey off my back. Please send me the one that's meant for me. Yeah, that's the power of prayer. So let's move on over. Let's take a look at your present time. Now we have the Knight of Swords and the Five of Pentacles. Now the Knight of Swords, is, it brings an upbeat, cheerful energy coming this towards the end of this month. Could go into April. Uh, it could also mean that someone or something desirable is wants to seek you out. Someone wants to come for you with this Knight of Swords in a very good way. Um, it's about physical, emotional, and spiritual energy being at a peak. And if you're waiting on news from someone or something, you're gonna like what you hear with this Knight of Swords. So this is a good thing. Um, just keep in mind, the Knight of Swords is about a lot of activity, a lot maybe travel, getting out and about, getting things accomplished. You won't feel like waiting for anything to come to you. And that's a good thing too. So you'll be going after whatever your heart desires. Now, this Knight of Swords, when it talks about love and relationships, you may literally be swept off your feet by someone. Now, like I said, someone looks like someone wants to come in with this Knight of Swords. Um... Yeah, someone wants to come in and sweep you off your feet. And if you're currently committed in a relationship, it could be about to brighten up quite a, quite a bit. Become a whole lot deeper, more satisfying. And if there's some single Geminis out there listening, and you're looking for a relationship or love, it could come along when you least expect it in the month of March or maybe towards April or sometime around there. But... Um, You'll have to be having some sort of contact with other people for the door to open for this. So make sure you get out, get dressed up, and uh, maybe go out on the town. 
so that's the Knight of Swords. It's paired with Five of Pentacles. The Five of Pentacles is about when life could be feeling less than secure for some reason. Um, could have something to do with this Knight of Swords since they're paired together. But we'll we'll get into that now. Just to explain the Five of Pentacles, the important thing to remember is that there's always help available when you need it from forces seen and unseen. You might be feeling alone and just know you do have the capacity to change that if you reach out. You might feel like you're being left out in the cold as though everyone has everything and you are the only one suffering. Just realize this is not the case. This is definitely not the case. A lot of people are in the same situation or worse. Um, so do the best you can with what you have. And remember, the wise thing to do is if you need help, is to go out and ask for it. The help you need will come. The Five of Pentacles, when it talks about love and relationships, is not a particularly happy indicator when it comes to love questions. Yeah, you see how this lady, she's, looks like she's leaving this house or she's a, about to go in, but someone's walking her away. Like, no, just don't go in there. So it's not a happy indicator for, for love or relationships when you get the Five of Pentacles. You could have your eye on someone that's not treating you the way they should. It may be that you need to stop fantasizing about this person entirely. Uh, like I said, this card is about feeling left out in the cold. So just remember there is never only one person that we can be with and have a soul level, happy, meaningful relationship. When love is right, you will not have to do backflips to make it work. So broaden your horizons and try hard to think positive if this is your situation. Just know that you're, you're an, you are an, you are a, you're a lovable, you're a lovable person. My tongue is getting twisted tonight. I'm sorry about that, but I hope you can understand what I'm saying. You're a very lovable, lovable person, Gemini. So I hope this is not your situation, but that's what uh, it's saying for you towards the end of March some type of situation like this now it's interesting because we have the Knight of Swords paired with the Five of Pentacles and not, like I said the Knight of Swords is about someone planning to take action to um, bring you good news or offer you romance this person could be a fast talker uh, yeah, they want to charge in, but you feel left out in the cold, possibly mistreated. So I'm picking up someone could be coming in to take you away from all this and bring you good news. Or this is you taking fast action like this Knight of Swords um, to go off to a better place that will make you happy. So it can go either way. But uh, yeah, so somebody could be coming in to help with this situation that you're in that's not happy or you could be taking off really fast. And going off to a much brighter place so that's the present time let's take a look at how your person is viewing you they see you as a king of cups and the devil now the king king of cups is a balanced male and feminine energy it holds all positive qualities masculine and feminine often if this is an actual man in your life, he'll, repre he'll, um, 
if this is an actual man in your life, it's referring to a kind, loving man. This King of Cups is very loving. It could have hair on the lighter end of the spectrum, but it could go either way. Just know, with this King of Cups, you're supported by the universe in ways that you can see and way in ways that you cannot see. Uh, like I said, this is all about kindness and compassion. It's about pure, true love. It's in your life at this time, no matter what your situation is. So nurture yourself and allow others to nurture you. And when it talks about love and relationships, the King of Cups, it's very good news. Very good news. If you're looking for love and there's some single Geminis and you get the King of Cups, it indicates that someone who is very balanced, very balanced and loving, they're, they're coming your way soon. They are. They're coming in. Someone very balanced. You won't have to fix this person, not the King of Cups. Yeah, so this is how they see you. The person you're dealing with, they see you as very loving, supportive, and kind and compassionate. But they also see you as the devil. They see you with some devil energy. When the devil talks about love and relationships, if you're in a romantic relationship, one or both parties have gotten to the point where they feel as though they could be trapped in this situation. And if you get signals that this is the case, you need to really, really talk if you want to save the relationship. So the devil card can also sometimes appear when there's really nothing to be done but to end an unhappy but to end an unhappy relationship, situation. Because we all have choices, so take steps to keep the magic alive, if that's what you choose to do. Now, they see you like this devil. Possibly some addictions, greed, envy, materialism. Uh, maybe sexual lust. Um, they see you as um, not really being in control of your life with something or maybe many things. And because it's with the King of Cups, they see you in a good way, but you just got some issues. They see you in in a warm, friendly, tolerant way, but you got, yeah, you got some, some deep, maybe some deep personal issues that you need to deal with. Now let's take a look at how you see them. You see them as the King of Wands and the Three of Swords. Now the King of Wands, it's about a man, he could have hair on the lighter end of the spectrum, but it could go either way. Uh, this is a very positive card in the tarot. When we're not referring to an actual person, it signifies that there are a lot of people around you who are supportive of you and they think well of you. And you may not even know it. You probably start to feel ambitious and goal-oriented when you get the King of Wands. And you probably have a will to stick to a lot of things. To accomplish a lot of things that you have in mind so you might want to just think positive or stay positive when the King of Wands talks about love and relationships uh, it signifies that someone you care about they also have protective and caring feelings about you and that they're willing to work really hard if necessary to make the relationship work but with the King of Wands you could be more than usually focused on work work or career or focus your focus could be elsewhere but you need to make time for romance even if you're single or you could end up with work work being the only thing in your life that's what the king of wands is about and that's how you see your person 
you see them as caring a lot about you and and that they want to protect you they have protective feelings about you um, that's, that's probably a lot of chemistry so that's how you see them and you also see them as this three of swords three of swords is a card when it comes to love and relationship it doesn't mean it's the end of a relationship but it does point to relationship difficulty difficulty and pain so in order for the relationship to survive both both parties must be willing to work on and talk about the problems the relationship you could find that someone you thought cared about you is not as loving as you had supposed so don't take it too personally or dwell on the pain if this is the case and I say this because you're being guided to a relationship that's right for you. So just know you cannot force something to be right. So this is how you see them also. This King of Wands and the Three of Swords. You see them as possibly shutting you out with this Three of Swords. There's chemistry there. You see them as, like I said, having caring and protective feelings for you. And supportive and they think well of you. But there is um, some difficulty surrounding this. And you probably feel rejection or rejected sometimes because of this three of swords it's about some deep emotional issues that need to be addressed before uh, this connection can move forward and this is how you see them yeah so there's some sorrow and pain with this person but like I said the king of wands is a good one um, you see them as, like I said, uh, supportive and um, willing to probably willing to work hard if necessary to make the relationship work. That's what these two, two guards are about. So let's take a look at why it's all happening. It's happening due to the King of Swords and the Ace of Wands. The King of Swords. This is our narcissist card. Narcissistic type of person. Nar narcissistic energy. Forceful. Opinionated. This person could have dark hair, dark eyes, but it could go either way. Um, this person could be tempted to think only about how things affect and then, if this card is um, talking about an actual person, that, that's usually their attitude, thinking about themselves only. So, it's about trying to consider or needing to consider the feelings of others before you act. King of Swords is very, very forceful energy. If you're dealing with someone like this, you may not be able to get this man in your life to change their mind or to do what you want. You may need to change something major about your behavior, thoughts, and or expectations to deal with this person. Now, when the King of Swords talks about love and relationships, it can mean that a strong, forceful, opinionated man could be a part of your scenario. If this man is your lover, your husband, or you're, you're just your person, it means that you're going to have to accept him. You may have to accept him as he is. You don't have to, but if you're thinking about accepting, accepting, accepting him as he is, um, you'll best deal with him by drawing on your feminine aspects. Pull out your feminine side. 
but don't put up with being mistreated. This man can walk the line between being stereotypically manly and overstepping his bounds. So this is one of the reasons why it's all happening. And it's happening also because of the Ace of Wands. The Ace of Wands is about new beginnings of a love relationship, possibly, or just um, new beginning, new beginnings of, of something really positive. If it's not a relationship. This Ace of Wands is about accomplishments. And they usually or could be related to work, career. And just know with Ace of Wands, if you're having a difficult time now, things will get better much soon. Things will get much better very soon. That's what I'm trying to say. And this card, it depicts being upbeat, optimistic, and really hopeful about the future with a good cause. And you have a lot of energy, and um, you'll be feeling positive very soon with the Ace of Wands. So it's a good time to start something new. And this is why it's happening also. Because of this narcissistic person, and then we have this new beginning. So, what I'm picking up is that there's a new beginning that's coming in, but it's going to cause for you, Gemini, to be forceful, to have a forceful energy just to get this new beginning. This new beginning can be with a new love. It's a great new beginning. Or it could be just a new beginning of your life. Okay? A new beginning, a new fresh start in your life. So, but it's going to cause for you to have this King of Swords narcissistic type of energy. You're going to have to cut a lot of stuff out and just be, um, you'll be using your head over your heart. You're going to have a, going to have to have a lot of forceful energy just to get these new beginnings. Because there's some things that you um, probably really need to cut out. But you're probably not the type to be forceful. But it's going to, it's going to, something's going to pull out this forceful sharp side of you and you've probably never seen this side of you before but that's just going to happen and then once this happens it brings whole new beautiful new beginnings like i said it could be with a new love could be just a new beginning with with life you'll be feeling really good about a lot of stuff once you become this once you become this narcissist yeah there's an energy this energy is required for you to cut a lot of junk out and then you'll get this new beginning that's why you got the sword in your hand you you're not playing you're gonna cut some stuff out and it looks like you're moving on but you're moving on to something new that's better for you so that's why it's all happening and basically like we talked about the recent past Looks like you need to release your ex. The time has come. You have to clear. You have to clear this energy. You have to clear it. Just pray on it. If it's if it's got you feeling like you got a monkey on your back, invoke says you know, pray on it. There's um, someone wants to, the divine wants to answer your prayers. You just need to talk, talk to, talk to the, the divine. Okay, whoever your high, higher power is. And release your ex. The time has come. Because it looks like we have uh, the present time. Someone's got you feeling left out in the cold. Uh, mistreated, possibly. You have to have people walk you away from that door. And, um, yeah. There's somebody, there's somebody walking you away. I'm picking up this, this King of Cups person. 
some someone some loving energy that you there's somebody very supportive of you towards the end of March somebody really wants to help you with this mistreatment that you're feeling because the king of cups is a really loving energy but we have that for that's how they see you they see you as really loving but with some devil energy uh, possibly addictions that's how they see you and then, then we had how you see them uh, with some sorrow and sadness and um, yeah but we have this why it's happening this forceful energy needs to take place that brings you to a new be that brings you to a new beginning of love or happiness or both so yeah I keep, I keep looking back at the present time where this lady's walking away because she feels left out and she feels mistreated yeah so yes it could also be some forceful type of energy maybe if, if you're not able to be forceful you know that you're just too kind you know someone like this really sharp cold narcissistic type that's coming in to uh, get you out of this this negative energy that you've been dealing with yeah and they help bring you to a new beginning mm -hmm. so that's what I have for you Gemini I hope you enjoyed this reading I'll put a link below of the extended and I'll go through how you both feel about the situation, what's in the near future for the two of you, how you see yourself, best case scenario, and what's going to happen between the two of you in the next few weeks. I also have a link below if you'd like to request a personal reading. Thank you so very much for watching. I really appreciate it. Please comment, subscribe, hit the notification bell. That way you'll be notified when I post my next reading. I hope 2020 is going well for you. I hope March is a beautiful month for you, Gemini's. Once again, thank you so very much for watching and have a great day.